Hey guys, what's up? Only one fly flame here, and I'm bringing you a tutorial on how to get XP the fastest way possible in Call of Duty Advanced Warfare. Yeah, that's right. But b before we get into this, make sure to like, favorite, comment, subscribe because it helps out a bunch. Now, one of the biggest ways to get XP in Call of Duty is by completing challenges, and we can find those by going to Operator and simply going to Challenges now. You can go to the weapons challenges, EXO, all of these, and they'll give you a lot of XP. See, 1,500 XP for just using a suppressor and getting 250 kills with it. Really easy, really easy stuff. Now, a pretty big unknown way to get, <laughs> it's also a new feature to get XP, is by wearing a full loadout slash whole gear whole collection of gear at all the same stuff at one time and you get a 5% bonus for that and we can do that by going to operator customization oh, don't pick that <laughs> go to one of your outfits and you can click on basically anything I wouldn't do eyewear because I don't think it really does much <laughs> now you can see here if you have a full set oh, even any set there will be all gold and once you do that you just press X to equip and boom you got it all on and you got your 5% bonus going now if you have a variety of different things that you have the full set of go ahead slap them all on slap on different outfits at different times but make sure that you're wearing the whole outfit when you go into battle anything will work that has a list I'll give you an example for one that doesn't actually have a list like that list no that's not one <laughs> sentinel operator that's not one that'll let you do it marine support isn't one kva mercenary triumph set won't let you do it for five percent bonus Okay, now here's here's a pretty good way to do it. I'm telling you. Look, before you go into battle, create a custom class, and boom, look look at this. This is a class I use all the time. I get crazy kills with it. <laughs> but an awesome way to get a little bit of bonus score and XP is to simply get a UAV and put extra assist points on that. It'll cost 50 more points, but it'll give you a lot more assist points, trust me, and it's worth it. I put all of mine on support because, you know, if you die, you you're still got it. It's all good. <laughs> Another great way to get XP is by assisting your teammates' score streaks. So, if someone has a paladin, it, hold X, get in there throw out some threat grenades same thing for the warbird bombing run get in there supportive offensively yeah and oh, another great way is the aerial recon drone that helps a big deal if you go around and spray people with the stuff you can put that on support too put increased lifetime on it and boom you got a you got an awesome thing going on there you got extra time you got a ton of assist points which gives you spotter points and it's just XP all over the place alright guys let's see this in action Make sure if you're new to the channel, subscribe and all that because I love you guys all day every day. <laughs> this is part of my new tutorial stuff that I'm going to be putting out. This is my first one and <laughs> it's 3 a.m. I couldn't sleep. I was all excited about Um, Tomorrow I'm going to be making you guys a leg switch tutorial. I won't use it. I'll only use it in box or custom matches. but. I'm going to show you guys how to put it together, what you need, where you need to go to get this stuff, all of that. Another great way to uh, get XP is by playing Kill Confirm.
And if you get a bunch of, if you get, oh boy, that guy was there, huh? <laughs> if you get a bunch of tags in a row, three tags to be exact, in a row, you'll get a little bit of extra points for that. You get 50 extra points, so instead of 150 points, you get 200 points. That's a great way to get extra XP. So if you just run around picking up everyone's tags, awesome way to do that. Another way to do it is by playing with your friends and calling out enemies. Because if you know where the enemy is, you're not going to die and you're going to be able to kill them easier. Henceforth, more XP. Because every kill is 100 points if you're in TDM. Oh boy, I'm not, I'm not really <laughs> doing too well, guys. But then again, it is 3 in the morning. I'm not really focusing on the game. I'm focusing on the tutorial. See, look. I only have 200 points, but don't worry. Another great way to get XP is by winning the match. You get 2,000 XP for winning your match. And if you lose, you only get 1,000. So you really want to win... And the more you win, the easier it is to win. Hey, sir, sir, where'd you go, sir? So I'm gonna have to ask you to leave me, leave me alone. That man just disappeared. Oh, dear lord! All right, who do you think you are? Who do you think you are, sir? Oh dear lord, my lord. Oh, hey, watch out, guys. There's a guy up on there. Watch out. You get out of there. Another awesome way to get XP is by calling your opponent's names. It does absolutely nothing for anyone, but hey. It gives you experience points in the real world for name calling. Yeah. God damn it, you little mother trucker, you. Sir! My <laughs> Guys, this is crazy. I was going at least 30 kills a game before I got off today. Minimum of, or maximum of 7 deaths per game. Ugh. Oh yeah, there's there's just one I forgot right there. Assists. Assists are a great way. Oh, oh man. Alright, see so defeat we got one thousand points. It's all good, it's all good, it's all good. Ooh, ooh, get wrecked. Ooh. Oh. Ooh. Ooh. I'm not sure, but if you get a four, three or four kills in a row and upwards, you get bonus points for that. Alright, let's break down the score. You got 850 points for the game, for what we did, killing people, you know, assists and whatnot. We got 1000 XP for losing, oh, god damn it, they put me in a game, I'm sorry. Done. No, mm -mm. we ain't playing that. And I mean, if you're really into it, you can always go into your armory and get rid of some items. You know, just press X on it and redeem it. But be careful. You don't want to delete everything. You just delete things that you have double of or that things that you don't like. And always remember that eventually wearable items will turn into retired items. So if you hold on to them long enough, you'll get a bonus up upwards of, you can get 2,500 XP max bonus if you wait long enough. Legendaries are worth 4,000, or <laughs> elite items are worth 2,000, retired are worth 3,000, 
professional are worth 1,000 and enlisted are worth 500 XP. Now if you rack up everything in my armory right now, that's a lot of XP. You can't redeem permanent loot, but who cares? It's permanent. You never have to let it go. There's no chance of accidentally deleting it. That brings me another, to another point, guys. If you delete an item on here, within you can redeem it. You can get it back. If you go to the Call of Duty website, you go to Help and Support. Uh, supply drops, <laughs> deleted uh, retrieving items, I believe it's what it's called. And if you've uh, deleted an item five days ago, you can, uh, well, you can get it back instantly, but you can only do it six months, every six months. So be careful, don't just redeem an item that's bad news. I did it with the loophole, I was so sad. And I found out that you could do that. <laughs> so yeah, I don't have my loophole, guys. Uh, it's a sad, sad day. I hope you guys all enjoyed. And hey, tell everybody about this. It's the best. Love y'all. Peace.